Hey Aquarius, hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to start off your reading with some Oracle messages and I'll get into the tarot. For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my training is down below. So we have confession. Somebody has something to tell you. Okay. Could be a love confession. Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius? Gold digger, they want your money being used. Okay, so for some of you, you may have discovered that someone wanted to use you in some sort of way, whether it's for money or uh, for whatever. We have manifest the universe. Tell the universe exactly what you want. I do feel like for a lot of you, you're manifesting this new beginning in love. We have yes, luck is on your side. We have divorce here in the reverse. So I feel like there could be somebody here that does not want to break up or somebody that doesn't want to lose you. Distance. For some of you, there could be a long distance relationship, and as I did see pets. So for some of you, there may be you may be getting a new pet. Mercury retrograde, electronic issues, communication issues, reviewing everything. Guardian angel, whoever I'm picking up on today is very protective. I do feel like everyone that's watching this video is very protective as well. And we have move on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. And we have no. So for a lot of you, you moved on from somebody else. And I feel like this person's not having the best time with that. They're not, I feel like they're not getting through it like you are, is kind of what I'm getting. We have drowning, and I feel like this is not your energy. I feel like it's theirs. But you feel like you've cut off communication with this person. Maybe this person was using you, so you let them go. Masculine energy, authority, discipline, father figure. I feel like for a lot of you, whether you are male or female, you're stepping into this masculine energy, taking action, doing what you need to do, taking control of your life, having more discipline. We have intimacy, mutual respect, unity, closeness. I feel like for uh, some of you, you could be getting close to somebody new. Family, blood ties, inner circle. So yeah, I feel like you're just very much so focused on yourself, your family, your kids, your home, your finances. And I just heard protection as well. Like Again, protected. I feel like you're very protected, whoever I'm picking up on. Um, and I do feel like with that masculine energy, you could be a protector. Maybe you're the person that protects the family. Maybe you're the provider here, um, regardless of gender. So we do have exhausted, burned out, um, burdened, empty. For a lot of you, you may need to recharge um, your energy here. We have paranoid, cautious, insecure, guarded. Definitely could have your guard up. I'm in a situation, I just, I'm getting the need to protect. Maybe you feel the need to protect yourself, protect your family, protect your home. We have antisocial. Yeah, maybe you're just like disconnecting a little bit and you're feeling silent treatment left out. Maybe you're just like focusing, just keeping to yourself right now. I'm getting an energy of feeling uneasy, like paranoid, like feeling uneasy. So maybe you just feel the need. Yeah, protected. Archangel Michael, protection, prevention from harm divine intervention. So do know whatever you're going through right now. If you're feeling uneasy, you're feeling a little paranoid, uh, maybe at work, some of you may work at a bar. We have nightlife here. Um, do know that you're protected from whatever is making you feel uneasy. Maybe you're not sure what it is, but I definitely pick it up on some of them. Maybe just for some reason is feeling a little uneasy lately. So what are the messages for Aquarius? Night of Cups. A confession. There's going to be some sort of love message coming in here with this Knight of Cups. Or something you can be dealing with a water sign. So what are the messages for Aquarius? The world. Could be connected to a new beginning. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Got the Devil card here at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's very tempted to tell you something. Six of Pentacles. Somebody wanting to put more effort into a situation. Again, I'm getting working on money as well. We do have the Six of Cups. So somebody feels a very strong soul connection to you. I'm just looking at these kids. Like It makes me feel like inner child type of energy here. Maybe you guys like have fun together like you would if you were kids, you and this person. Maybe you're already friends with them. The Chariot, Cancerian energy. we got the Queen of Cups. Definitely could be dealing with a water sign or somebody that is just very loving, very giving, very nurturing. Ten of Pentacles. You definitely could be dealing with somebody very solid. We've got the King of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. So with these two cards together, the Ace and the Seven of Swords, this person is definitely hidden or has even lied about how they feel towards you. Again, Confession was the first card that flew out. 
they gave the impression maybe that they were not interested and now they're regretting that decision here this nine of swords they're thinking about that yeah the two of cups I mean, this person has very strong feelings for you. And I'm laughing because it feels like they went out of their way to hide it. And now they have a confession. Let's see, why is the Knight of Cups energy here? And I feel like whoever I'm picking up on, you could, you know. Yeah, exactly. The Ace of Cups. The King of Cups. Now they have a confession. Why is the World card here? It's going to lead to a new beginning. The Knight of Pentacles. Can we deal with the earth sign? And I feel like this person, they think you're fine. Very attractive here. They love your confidence. And the thing is, I feel like that Nine of Pentacles energy is exactly why they're coming forward. Because they know this bitch is not going to be single for long. If you're not interested, okay, she'll move on. She's got plenty of options. It's kind of the energy I'm getting from you. Why is the Six of Pentacles energy here? Yeah, they're going to start putting in more effort. The Three of Pentacles, yeah. They know they need to do something. And with the Three of Pentacles, for some reason, I just heard make it right. Because they're reflecting on their past actions, judgment. And more than that Three of Pentacles. This could be a co-worker for some of you. Or you met at somebody's job. Yeah, the Four of Swords. They know they got to do something. And I feel like they know that they confused you. Seven of Cups. Yeah, exactly. Clarifying the Six of Cups, we have the Seven of Swords. The high priestess. The thing is, they lied to you about how they feel. But you, you're the high priestess. You already knew. You know <laughs> they were lying. And this could have happened in the past. <coughs> maybe you've been friends with this person for a while. And maybe this happened in the past here. They confused you. Maybe they were pursuing other options. Seven of Cups. Why is the chariot card here? And the thing is, now their energy is completely 100% directed towards you. That's the strength card. Could be done with the Leo. You comfort this person in a way that nobody else has. Nobody else can. That's what I'm getting also. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? They feel like they can build with you. The Hermit can be done with the Virgo. They're not... They just got like inner peace with this Hermit energy. You don't disturb their peace. Ever. Is what I'm getting. Like just... You guys flow very well together. And I feel like this is going to be out of nowhere. The tower. Because like, I feel like this person has gone so long holding it in. Not expressing how they feel. Holding back, holding back, holding back. And now it's just going to like explode with this tower card. It's like you go from the hermit to the tower. Completely shut down. Completely not expressing shit to like, boom. This is what's happening. This is how I feel. Why oh, Ace of Swords here? Ace of Swords, yeah. The Ten of Swords. They're done with uh with hiding it because they're only hurting themselves that's kind of what i'm getting at this point like they're only hurting themselves why is king of cups because i feel like whoever i'm picking up on like you you're not angry anymore you're like okay whatever we're just gonna be friends we're just gonna be friends i'm fine with that now they're like shit what do i do why is the king of cups here yeah the three of cups it's like every time you guys hang out they want to say something they want to take action. They're so tempted to take action. Okay. Yeah, again, the Seven of Cups keeps coming out. Now they don't even know what to do. They don't know what to say. Why is the Seven of Swords here? I mean, yeah, the Death card. They're done hiding it. They're done hiding it. They're going to say something to you. Maybe more on that Ace of Swords. They're going to say something to you. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. It's it's going to be explosive. Like, it's going to be so out of fucking nowhere. It catches you off guard. So, yeah, you can... Confession was the first card out. Can we done with Capricorn? Spirit, what is the signs for Aquarius? Aquarius. Can we done with another Aquarius? What are the signs for Aquarius? Got Leo. Sagittarius. Aries. I also just heard with that paranoid card. They're paranoid. <laughs> You're going to move on with someone else. And I feel like that's fueling this like shit. 
Again, this bitch is hot. She ain't gonna be single for long. Though, so now they're paranoid, like, damn, I gotta do something. Like, I just keep hearing that, I gotta do something. And they're right, they're not wrong. I feel like multiple people, Leo again, multiple people may be interested in you. And we have Cancer. So, oh, Capricorn again. So, I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my training is down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.